My name is Deborah Benson, and this is Jamie Lee Benson, and she was diagnosed with juvenile diabetes in 2003. Some of her symptoms that clued us in were um, she urinated a lot, she was constantly thirsty. Um, she had a real hard time with not being able to drink enough water. She was thirsty all the time. Um, and she, what tipped us off the night we took her to the hospital was a migraine. She had a severe migraine. Um, we had been driving for two hours when we got to my mom's house, tested her blood sugar and it wouldn't read. When she was diagnosed, we um, went to the hospital and I was in complete and total shock. Um, I could not believe that she had been diagnosed with diabetes. Um, type 2 runs in our family and when she was diagnosed, I was blown away. I thought I was in a nightmare. Um, we got to the hospital at midnight and it happened to be Friday the 13th. So that um, I thought, oh, this will just go away once they gave her fluids. I was overwhelmed at the time, absolutely overwhelmed. Um, just not knowing what to expect, but knowing that her life was going to be different forever. When she was first diagnosed, um, we switched from one hospital to another um, so that we could receive the training that we would need. Um, when children are diagnosed with diabetes, they only um, give you 48 hours of training um, to keep your child alive, quite frankly, and teaching you how to use insulin and counting carbs and um, taking control of everything that goes into her body, um, be it food or medication. Um, whenever I was first diagnosed, I had to ride in an ambulance for two hours. And getting the shots was no fun. Okay, initially, um, with her diet, we had to start counting carbohydrates. Um, carbohydrates turn into sugar, which is what gives the body energy. Um, insulin breaks down the sugar that gives the body energy, and without knowing how many carbs that she takes in at each meal or each sitting, you've, you've got to keep up with those things in order to be able to give her the proper amount of insulin to break those foods down. Otherwise, the body will literally starve itself to death um, and she'll start spilling ketones. Um, with support, we've, we've gotten a lot of help from other kids in the community that have diabetes. We've been able to tie in with other groups um, that JDRF has been a, a great help and being able to um, get with other kids that have this so that Jamie knows that she's not alone um, and taking action. We now, um, we test her blood sugar every day um, before meals and then after meals. That way we know that um, they were, the, the levels are where they should be. Um, her diet's very important. We count carbs. We, she's on a much healthier eating uh, regimen than, than most kids her age, um, in schools especially. That's um, always a wonderful opportunity to, um, to bring in fruit and vegetables. And that's just been amazing. Um, she also gets tested um, every three months um, for her A1C, which is, gives you an average of what her blood sugar is over a three month period. And um, you can live with this. Um, you can conquer this and you can, you can get through this. Um, it's definitely increased our faith in what God can do. Um, She's now on a pump, so her blood sugars are much, are much better controlled. And she's going to have an amazing life, and nothing is going to stop her. Diabetes will not stop her.